What's going on everybody? Today, we're going to do something to the car on the inside. And I'm going to show y'all how to replace a cabin L filter and a SLK 230. And I'm doing this because my homeboy, I was at his house, man, because he got one. And uh, he, called, he called me over because he wanted to pay me to help him fix the roof, which I did. And uh, I noticed that the car had a funky smell. And I was like, man, what's up with that smell? He was like, I don't know. I've been, I vacuumed out the car, but I still got the smell. Come to find out, his cabin L filter had mold and all kind of, I don't know how mold got in it, but it had mold and it was just a funky smell, man. I couldn't have him riding in the car like that, so I went and bought him one myself, even though he paid me to fix, to help fix the top. So, I want to just show y'all real fast how to replace. This is a STP cabin L filter, and for all my Spanish folk, actually I'm half black Indian Puerto Rican too, but I don't know how to speak Spanish. But, that's it. So, this is my STP. I got this from Discount Auto Parts, but you know, you can get it from anywhere. But, I'm, but it's on the passenger side, and I'm going to show y'all how to do this thing. So, for anybody who, if you got a funky smell, or even if you just want the cab of your car to smell good and, and to stay fresh, you need to change this. And we're going to change it right now. So, it's under the passenger side. Now, you got two screws. You got one screw right there and one screw right here. And you just need Phillips head. Can you get a dick? There you go. Just need a Phillips head. To, uh, okay. There we go. To get that thing going out. Just need a Phillips head to get that thing on out. And we taking all day. Why? I have no clue. But, uh oh, now it's coming. There you go. One Phillips head down. We got another Phillips head right here. Uh oh, I'm lying. Is the Phillips. Uh oh, my screw is not there, y'all. Alright, so if this is not there, it's going to be easy to pull it out. It's just so weird. So, what we're going to do is. We're going to take this, this, all of this comes down. So you're going to take this and pull all of that down. All of that comes down. And you can easily take this and pull it, and, and pull this backwards and it'll slip out. Pull it backwards and it'll slip out. As y'all can see, I got leaves and everything up under there. Let me go ahead and get that out of, uh, up out of here. As long as there wasn't no snake that fell out of there. I hate snakes. Oh my god, I hate snakes. Alright, so this right here is what we pulled down. So, the cabin L filter is right here as y'all can see. So, these little clips, they move to the side. Both of them move to each side. And the cabin L filter should come out. So, pop that that way. And you move this one. Uh, if it want to go, I can like it don't want to go, but we're going to make it work. All right, come on. Come on, any time today, sister soldier. Bam! Uh-oh, it came all the way out. But it's okay. And we can go ahead and get that thing down. There it go. All right, so you see that? You see this? See what I'm talking about? How I'm changing my cabin L filter. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all the stuff that came out of my cabin L filter. Look at all that mess. You see what I'm saying? And that's the same problem my boy had with the cab, his cabin L filter. It was just terrible. So we're going to change that right now. So let's see how bad. Oh my God. Y'all see that? Dust and dirt on it. It ain't, it ain't looking good. All right. So we got to get this thing down. 
Oh my God, it is terrible. Oh my God, look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at my cabin air filter. I cannot believe this. Oh my God, look at that. So, I got dust and dirt on that. Look at that. That's what I've been breathing in when I was in the car. All of that. This is what I've been breathing in. All that dirt and dust. It's supposed to be white like this right here. And it is not white at all. That you see the difference? See how see the difference? So oh my god, I wish I would have did this at a vacuum place. And now I got all these leaves and everything. But don't worry, I have to I'll revacuum it later on. Right now, I just have to take most of the leaves and just throw them out. And I have to revacuum this thing later. Oh my god. So, we got the new one. And y'all see why you need to change it because that was terrible. So, we got the new cabin L filter. Show this to y'all. Bam. Nice, white, and clean. Nothing like the old one. Nothing like the old one. And we'll come, we'll do a side by side comparison. Because y'all can see the difference. See how old, dirty that old one was? See how clean the new one is? Huge difference. Huge difference. So, let's go ahead and throw this one on in there. Alright, let's see what we got, people. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. Is it going? Oh, yep. It's going in properly. Thank God. Bam. It's in there, y'all. Nice, white, and bright. All right. Now let's let's put this. <laughs> bless you. All right. Let's put this. I did. I just bless myself. Yes, the hell I did. All right. Let's put the clip back on there. There we go. Oh, no, I lied, I lied. All right, let's get this back on there. Let's get that back on tight. Come on. Is that, is that, okay, did we got it now? Oh, I think we got it now. Yep. Yep, I think we got it now. I know it's kind of dark to see with this thing, but it's right there. We got it. Now we got to put the clip back on this thing. All right, y'all. And when you're done, I'll show y'all how to put these clips back on. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can pull it back out more. But when you're done, these clips they slide back on with these little slides right there. So you just go to the edge. Just go to the edge and make sure that they on proper on both sides, and just slide them over. And they're locked right there. So it's not going anywhere. And that go your new cabin L filter to stop the gunk and junk from coming in and making you breathe in pollen and all of that. You're good to go. And when you're done, you take this, put this, push this back up, and you make sure that the edge goes back in where you can put the uh, Phillips head back here and there's one that go back there but mine was missing. So one there and one right here and one, well my bad, one right here and you're good to go. You just fold that back up. You, you just, oh my god, I'm going to put that back. But y'all push this back up, put that back in and you are good to go. Alright, I'm putting the, the screw back on and I remember mine was missing a screw to the other side but y'all's may not be that messed up so y'all will have a screw on both sides but mine only had one screw right there but you got one screw there and one screw right there just screw them back in change your cabin air filter now push this back up make sure that's back up flush make sure your car seat back up flush and you are good to go so, 
in the end, it's good to clean your cabin L filter because y'all see what I had to deal with. My hat came off. But y'all see what I had to deal with. I'm talking about dirty gunk. It's so heavy because it's so heavy with dirt and junk and just pollen and God knows what else is in here. So y'all make sure y'all clean y'all cabin L filter as much as you can. Uh, please don't avoid it because you breathing in God knows what. Alright? Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Peace.